Hi, I'm Megan. Now let's talk about how to navigate through your dashboard. Your sales accountability dashboard was designed to make it as simple as possible to log your activities and sales. All you're doing is just pushing buttons. Your activities are right at your fingertips here at the top. Whether you're on desktop or mobile, everything is updated in real time. So when you complete an activity, let's say a, a make appointment, you've made your appointment and your goal is five a week. So when you complete the activity, all you're going to do is click the button associated with that activity. Now when you do that, you'll see that your points wheel goes up. So every activity actually has an associated point value. Now we're going to talk about that more in my next video. But for now, the goal here is to get to 100 points a day or more. Think of it like your step goal or some sort of fitness or exercise goal that you have. Same exact concept here. With sales accountability, you're driving towards 100 points a day or more. So as I'm going throughout my day, I'm going to have this up on my laptop or on my mobile. And as I'm completing my activities, all I'm simply going to do is continue to hit the buttons here. It's that simple, okay? Now, when I make a sale, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm going to classify where the sale came from by care. So again, we'll talk about that more in my next video, but for now, when you make a sale, you're gonna classify, okay, did it come from a keep behavior, an attain behavior, recapture, or expand? Once you've determined that, all you're gonna do is click the button. That's it, it's very, very simple and easy to use. Now, when I keep clicking these buttons, it's gonna keep a record here of my sales by category, and then it's gonna also tell me my sales so far for the month. Now, as I scroll down, what I have here is kind of my progress report. So I can quickly and easily see my points progression over time. So this is what I'm looking at for the past week, which I can filter for. I can also look at the past month or the past quarter. So I can really get a benchmark for how am I doing? Am I consistent? Am I up and down? Those kinds of things. You can also look at all of your activities at a glance, or you can pull up one specific activity to drill down a little bit deeper. Next, we're going to talk about how to set up and access your analytics.